everyone welcome to my channel today I am going to just do a very quick floral design on this green glass wine bottle this design is going to be created with two a magic paint brushes a 12 and a 10 and then a number 10 round brush all these are a magic brushes I do link the products down below with affiliate links so you can purchase through those if you choose to. And then I also will be using a dotting stylus. You can use anything to create dots with. You know, if you have a brush, paintbrush handle or whatnot, that's fine. You don't have to order anything specific for that. I'm using Thicket. All of these are folk art paints. Teal Topaz. Calypso Sky, Titanium White, Forest Moss, and Bumblebee. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to use the number 12 paintbrush first. Or, yes. So basically, I'm just tipping one side into the uh, topaz, the teal topaz. Stick a little bit of it into the Clipso Sky and then a little bit into the white. And then I just do a blending stroke. As I need to add paint, I just keep doing this as I'm creating. Nothing special. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And what I'm doing here are just some very easy, almost like they're just little buds, okay? If when you're painting, it isn't opaque enough which if you follow me you know that the more opaque your design is the more durable it's going to be you can either allow it some drying time or hit it with a heat gun hair dryer and then go back over it all right so on this design I'm not too worried about it because I'm actually this is one of my bottles where I'm just gonna wipe it off and create another design over it and I decided to do this today because I just wanted to get on and do a quick video because I haven't posted anything new for a bit all of my designs are intended to be simple that a new painter can create with all right so I'm just basically wiggling my brush a little bit and coming back down turning my brush now when you're doing it on glass it's not as easy to create these pieces that you are turning your brush and trying to like flip your brush a little bit. So know that with that you might need to, again, give it some drying time and go back over it. And if you ever find that it's difficult with the color that you're using to get it to be opaque, sometimes by adding a little white to your brush will actually help with that. The white seems to have a lot more pigment to it than some of the colors. Like you would always think, at least I always thought, red would be an awesome color to work with. However, a lot of times it doesn't cover real well and it is not as full of pigment as you might think. And just a little, a little twist here at the bottom, a little fold, however you want to say it. And these are not meant to be anything specific as far as the style of flower. It's just a design, an easy design. Just some basic stroke work here. And I apologize if my hand is in the way. I am a lefty. So if by me starting from the right, going to the left is hard for you, please know just to go to the different, start the way that's comfortable for you. So I tend to start from the right, and I think it has something to do with being left-handed. But again, if you're trying to copy what I'm doing and it's not working or it doesn't feel comfortable to you, then you start from the left and go the opposite direction. 
on any of the strokes that I create. All right, so I'm gonna do just a few more here. And see on this, I could have, you know, went like this level first and then given it some drying time or hit it with my heat gun. And then proceeded. That would have made it look a little um, more covered, a little more opaque. But I am just trying to make this a quick video. So. And I like to do an odd numbers. So chances are maybe I'll even do a set going down this way. And you can turn, obviously turn your bottle. Doesn't have to stay in one, one direction. It's one thing nice about painting on glass. And then I will come here. Like I said, I'm just gonna leave it at that. But see how you could possibly go over go over these and make them a little thicker, more durable. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, <clears throat> come in here with my 10. And again, I can just, you know, you can do it where you go into this side and then you go over here, add a little bit in. I like to touch in with another color, two or three colors to do my greenery. And then I'm just going to put a little stem going down through this. I wiggle them. It can go down through the center or you can have it come off to the side. And do it the same thing here and you can always go back over it if you need to make it a little thicker and we'll go like that very simple all right so using the same same loading techniques. I'm going to come in here, come up around these, and just do some quick little leaves. And I just stuck my finger in the paint, apparently. Dang it. So then this just kind of finishes off your flower by putting them up around it like that. And you don't have to go up around each one, but the way I created this design, that's what I'm doing. And I am a very big fan of leaves, so... I hope you like this. Um, please feel free to give it a try. Just some things to give you suggestions on surfaces to practice on. Waxed paper is actually a very good surface to try different designs on. Get your hand used to the techniques that you're trying to create. 
And of course it's affordable and that makes it good to save up your pickle jars or any kind of jars from food that you this can actually make cute storage containers as well or you know get a bottle like what I do on some of my videos most of my videos I actually create and sell the bottles but you can use the surface over and over again just wipe it off wash it off you don't have to be as concerned about how you're washing it because you're not selling it. Mm -hmm. You're not actually. Mm -hmm. I just have to be careful when I do this. I don't roll my dis my bottle over on my design. All right. Then you can go back in and just kind of uh, add in some leaves where you feel like they need to be. If you want to put stems in, you can. You know, go through and do that. If you don't want to, you don't have to, obviously. And then I like to maybe add in some little sprays of some other color, some other type of leaf brush stroke that kind of thing you can even go over because when you're doing a doing a floral design or a bouquet or something to that effect it's not going to be lined up perfectly right things are going to overlap all right so i've got my leaves in here very simple once again. I'm going to take my round brush. <clears throat> I'm going to fill it up with paint. And I apologize to my, the way I'm set up right now doesn't allow me to have a whole lot of room. But I'm going to go back and forth with the different colors, these three different colors here. And what I'm going to do is come onto these stems, or these little pieces that I just painted in here. And then just, I'm basically just touching, pulling, and lifting up as I get closer to the, the little stem. You can rotate them, you can space them out, you can make them longer, shorter, kind of rotate that. Up here I had put my finger in paint, so I apologize for that. That's what you're seeing on here. And you go back over it, maybe even if you want to throw some light in here, just kind of do it, make them a little thicker. You just have to be careful though when you're painting on top of other colors that you don't pull the paint up like I'm doing on this one here. And just keep going with it. And I just keep adding paint in as I go. That's just fun. Very relaxing. And that's one point I like to make too is that doing a craft can be a great stress reliever. And if you're looking for you know, a great hobby or just to do some quick designs for your home this is perfect you know just instead of throwing these old bottles into the trash do something useful with them that's not a waste right keep them out of the junkyard or not junkyard but the landfill fill kind of accent i've got going on here today You just how you know just adds to it you can bring it down into the stem a little bit so you're covering up some of this emptiness in the center and you can actually even 
create different types of leaves. You don't have to go with all of this. I think all well, yeah, this is the one I went through the design with. Very pretty though. And you don't have to do them where they line up on one side to the next perfectly. I wasn't really trying to do that, but kind of got into that a little bit. All right, so there you go with that. And then you can take your little dotting stylus, touch it in here, and then I give it a little bit of extra color with the yellow. And just do that with each flower. ones that you can see, the ones that are peeking out a little bit. Some of them are hidden because of the other painting we did, but that's okay. Wherever you can see them. I think that was a little bit peeking out there. I have some peeking out here. All right, there we go. Pretty easy, right? Quick and easy demonstration. And there you have it. I think it's very pretty. Very pretty and just a few colors of paint. Once it dries for an hour, you can put it in your oven at 350 degrees. And I add my uh, preheat time to my bake time, so the paint requires 30 minutes. I put mine in for about 50 minutes. Then I allow it to cool completely before I pull it out. You gotta keep in mind, the problem that you may have with glass breakage is caused by a sudden change in the temperature. All right, well, again, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you would share this with your social network by just hitting that share button underneath the video. And until the next time, thanks again for stopping by. Stay safe and healthy and have a good one.